Howdy folks, Nathan coming at you from the TFL Car Satellite Studio, located deep in the bowels of my house. Today I offer a response to an interesting email that we received. Uh, Roman and I both went through it and thought to ourselves, this one, well this one deserves its very own video as a response, and that's because it connects to a few other video responses that I really wish we could put together. So we're going to put them all together in one. Now this has to do with the Tesla Model Y. Recently we did a video, actually it was about two, almost three weeks ago, called The Model Y Will Flop. No, you're wrong. Now we started the No, You're Wrong series about two years ago. And that series is about a debate, an argument. An argument means, you know, two people having two different points of view, right? Really simple. Well, in this case, we received this email from somebody who is obviously a bit of a fanboy with the Model Y, and we wanted to respond to it. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. First, I'm going to read you this email. It's a little snarky in tone, but that's okay. All right. Ready, guys? Here we go. I just saw your YouTube video, Model Y Will Flop. He forgot to add the know you're wrong part. You'll see what I mean when we're done. Did you just compare the price of a base model RAV4 with the price of a performance Model Y, 29000 versus $52,000? What's the price of a standard Model Y due out in later 2020, $40,000? Did you forget to add $11,000 to the price of the RAV4 for five years of fuel and maintenance? $29,000 plus $11,000 equals $40,000. Actually, your math is wrong, but we'll get to that in a second. Did you fail to mention that in five years, the Y will resell for ten dollars to $12,000 more than the RAV4? Did the Y have a self-driving capability? Smart clean car versus polluting RAV4. Did you just compare a smartphone to a rotary phone? I actually really like that one. If you want to regain your, sorry, if you want to regain your credibility, you should redo that video. Oy. Okay. When you do, send me a link. I will pass it on to everyone here so they can see that you've done a great job making a fair comparison. Kind regards, Mark. Mark, I actually have something to say about the um, idea of remaking that video. This is my son's. This is uh, his fart gun. Absolutely not, Mark. No. We're not going to redo a video that has an argument in it for and against a vehicle. That's the whole point of No, You're Wrong. Obviously, you saw what you wanted to see and didn't listen to Andre's point of view. I was the anti-Model Y, and I still am to a certain degree, and I'll explain that in just a second. But the whole purpose of No, You're Wrong is an argument. So my argument was that I felt that that vehicle... Granted, it will probably do well when it opens up to the public, which it just started to do now, but I feel that the sales are going to dip. And one of the reasons why, and I said this throughout the video, is because it is not an entry-level vehicle like it was initially promised to be. It is extremely expensive. My point, Mark, isn't whether or not this vehicle is advanced and really well made. It is. Actually, in terms of technology, we've had two Tesla vehicles at TFL. Why? Because it's awesome technology. They're really, really fast and they're pretty cool, but they're really expensive, really expensive. So I was looking at it through the point of view of somebody who has an equivalent vehicle. Now the Model Y is basically a crossover that can hold four or five people fairly comfortably. Real, I mean, that's what it is, right? So the Toyota RAV4, which by the way, is one of the best selling vehicles in its segment next to the Honda CRV. Why do they sell so well? Because people want a crossover that can hold five people and are utilitarian and have the availability for all wheel drive. Okay? I mean, can we agree on that part? Great. So, with that being said, being able to afford a $40,000, $50,000, $60,000 vehicle is very difficult for a lot of people, Mark. So, in my point of view, 
considering that this initially was supposed to be an inexpensive vehicle, it isn't. It's expensive, okay? Once again, this is coming from the point of view of somebody who finds a $29,000 vehicle pricey, all right? So you're absolutely right. It's a great car. I'm glad you like it. But in terms of credibility, first of all, I don't have any. But second of all, even if I did, I wouldn't try to regain it, recanting what I said, because I'm not wrong. Andre mentioned it's, you know onboard driving characteristics and the fact that it has a computer that works great and it can charge your cell phone the rear hatch opens and closes and it has cubby holes and i believe he did mention in fact i know he mentioned the fact that it actually has the ability to drive itself which for some people isn't so great but i'm not even going to take that argument what i'm trying to say is that all that stuff means expensive car and I was comparing it to an inexpensive car that technically has the same basic thing. The ability to hold five people, utilitarian, all-wheel drive capability. That's it, okay? So, I know that that upset you. We're not going to redo the video and say, no, you're absolutely right. But I'll tell you what we are going to do. We are going to review the car in the future. And we'll probably end up owning one at some point in time. And we'll drive it around and we'll tell you how great this car is. And I'm sure it'll have some great moments. And it's going to be fast. Just like all Teslas off the line, they're really quick. But they're expensive, Mark. And that is really my basic point, my main point. The only point that's really worth making. Everything else here, mm -mm. So yes, I did compare it to a RAV4, and to a lesser extent, every other vehicle that is affordable. Now, when Tesla builds an affordable vehicle, which this was promised to be, by the way, then I'll definitely be a champion for it. But until then, the price is just too much. Okay, now, I've answered that question. There was another one that came via text, and I can simply tell you what it is. I don't have to read it off my phone. It says, you guys hate Tesla. That's all it says. It came through me uh, to me on Twitter, uh, Nathan Adlin at Twitter.com. And it's been sitting there for a long time. I never answered it. I thought about it for a while. And I thought, hmm, we have done combined 50 videos talking about Tesla products. Now, in those 50 videos, we've tried to be as transparent as possible, the pros and the cons. And one thing that I noticed with a lot of people out there is that they hear what they want to hear. So even if we say five things that are great about a vehicle and three things that are wrong with a the vehicle, they're only going to hear the three things that are wrong with the vehicle. Now, often we've had some real pushback when it came to the performance of these cars and their pricing. I can only tell you what we already know based on the fact that we've owned two of them, two. We had a Model 3 and now we have a Model X and we will be getting other ones in the future. Most likely getting our hands on a Cybertruck before long when they come out at some point in time. It's important for you guys to know that Roman especially, but to a lesser extent me, because I have no credibility according to Mark, um, we really like the idea of electric vehicles. I like them because it balances out gas cars. My perspective is in the future, you can have a badass muscle car or something like that and sort of temper that by having a commuter that is an electric or PHEV or something like that. And that way you're kind of cutting, cutting down on the carbon footprint and you're not using quite as much gas and da 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 da. See what I'm saying? I like that idea. Um, I really like the idea of having, you know, your cake and eating it too. Uh, other people want to go all electric, which is great. New electric cars are getting better and better every day. And range is increasing. Prices are coming down. And by the way, Mark, I did compare the Model Y to the upcoming Mustang Mach-E, which I agree is a terrible name. But the car itself is looking pretty promising. And price-wise, it's going to challenge the Model Y. And it's still, in my mind, a little too pricey. Okay? Anyway, going back to that lovely text saying that we hate Tesla. No, not really. Um, I don't think we would have owned two of them 
soon to be three, if we hated them, it would just be easy for us just to bash it and say horrible things about Elon Musk or whatever. But what we try to do is we try to convey the news, take the information that we have, and give it to you guys without much of a filter. Okay? So you can take it or leave it, but that's what we do. All right? So I hope you guys enjoy the Model Y when it comes to your house. I hope it doesn't take too long to get there. And I hope once you get it, you'll be able to send us some videos and some pictures telling us all about it. It would be great to see. All right, guys? Once again, this is a temporary measure, but it might be one that lasts a while where we're answering emails and whatnot from our home office. <laughs> I'm hoping that it'll be uh, shorter. And I hope you guys stay safe out there. And uh, let's just try to get through this together. All right? All right, guys. I'll see you next time.